Hello, Professor Morgan here showing you how to set up a Chicago style paper format. Yeah, I'm going to show you the title page and show you how to set up the first page. And there's some tricky things and some bonus information, so stay tuned for that. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to make sure that the, uh, the font is a readable font. Um, honestly, you cannot go wrong with Times New Roman size 12. It does say a readable font. Um, it shouldn't be smaller than a size 10 font, but that's fine. Okay, so I've got this a Times New Roman size 12. I also need to check out the margins. So for the layout, I'm going to click layout here. Okay, go to margins. And generally it's one inch. Um, you know, that's kind of standard. So we're going to go ahead and they have a little bit of flexibility with that, but folks just use one inch. Okay, so click on that. And then the other thing I need to do is make sure that everything, all the paragraphs are set up to be double spaced. Okay, so how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to the paragraph button here this area. This is under the home section and I'm going to click on this little button right here for the paragraph settings and I'm going to change the line spacing to double. Okay now in Microsoft Word if you fall into slip to my melodious voice wake up because you need to click on this box. If you do not click on this box it will add a space between paragraphs. Um, that's, we don't want it to do that. We don't want it to add a space. Okay so you have to click that box. If you don't then it'll add extra spaces between paragraphs, but everything should be double spaced. Okay, so double spaced, click the box, hit OK. Um, now what we're going to do is that we need to center the text, the little, eye, the little flashing cursor there, so I'm going to go to center. Boom. Now, for to, your title, it needs to be about a third of the way down the page. And uh, so I just did some testing and it's about eight spaces. So I'm going to hit the enter button eight times. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now I'm going to kind of scroll down a little bit. And I'll, I'll show you. Trust me on this one, okay? And now I need to put the title in. Now the title, there's two things that you should be aware of the title. Number one, in the latest version of um, Chicago Style, it, the title should be in bold. So I'm going to click on the little B up there to make it in bold. And I'm going to call this... Um, uh, Writing a paper in Chicago style. Okay. Now you'll notice that I didn't cop that I that I capitalized writing and Chicago and style, but I didn't capitalize uh, these words. That kind of follows the same formatting as like MLA, where you capitalize like uncommon words, but common words you don't. Okay. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is turn off the bold. Boop. Okay. And then I'm going to hit the enter button three times. One, two, three. The next thing is the, the name of the person writing the paper. So in this case, oops, it's still got bold on. We don't want bold. Turn the bold off. Okay, Jason, yes, I can spell my own name, Morgan. And then I'm going to hit enter and then put in the name of the class. So I'm going to call this English 217. Put a colon and then the name of the class, which is Introduction to Creative Writing. Okay. And then I'm going to hit the Enter button. And then I'm going to put the date. Now, Chicago style allows you to use both the American style and the non-American style when it comes to the date. The American style is um, where we put the month first and then the day, and then the year. That's what you're, you're going to see a lot in America. Um, outside of America, what you'll end up seeing more often is this, where it, it goes day, month, year. Now, notice there's no commas if you go day, month, year, because if you go from the shortest period of time to the longest period of time, you don't need a comma. So 3 September 2025, no commas needed. But since if we're going to do it out of order, December, December, then we need a comma. So there's that. Okay. Now you're like, yeah, but is that really a down? Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to just zoom out a little bit. Have you look at the whole front page there. Huh? So you'll notice that that's roughly a third of the way down. Uh, I don't know, maybe you could do seven. But that's the information that's on the first page. Okay, so let's go a little bigger here so you can see it. Okay, now here comes some of the fun little tips and tricks that will make your life easier. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is, so that's my, my front page, and you'll notice that there's, there's nothing in the header up here. Okay, so that's just it. And so what I want to do now is I need to start the next page. So a trick, a nice trick to go do is after the date, go to Insert and hit Page Break. 
and it will take you down to the top of the next page. And then I'm going to go back to home and make sure that it is back to left aligned. Okay. Um, now, so we're on the next page. Now, this is the first page of the paper. It's not the title page. This is the first page of the paper. And it wants, uh, uh, Chicago wants you to put a number up here. And again, this is where it gets tricky. So um, this is worth the price of tuition right here. So I'm going to get into the header. So I'm just going to double click the top of this page here. Double left click. Boom, boom. And it brings up the header section. Now, the next thing I want to do is add a page number. And this is this will drive you nuts if you don't know the trick. So I'm going to show you the trick. So I'm going to go to page number. Okay. Top of the page. And I'm going to go to plain number over here. Because it goes on it on the right hand side. Okay. And you're like, great. But that says two. <laughs> what? Well, let me show you a couple of things. First thing you want to do is just kind of right, uh, left click rather, highlight it. And then after you've done that, then right click on it and just check to make sure it's the right font. It is. Okay. But you're like, yeah, but it's not supposed to start at two. I know it's not supposed to start at two. So what we're going to do to fix that is that when you go, to, if you look at the top of the page here, we want to have a different first page. So make sure that that is checked because the, the title page, this title page up here, we don't want it, it, we want it to be different. Okay. And then here, so it, um, now that we've clicked that box, so again, once I kind of, you know, highlight this and then right click it, it gives me this option to format the page numbers. So I'm going to go to click on that. And I actually want this to start at zero. Okay. So page numbering start at zero. I hit OK. And what that does is that it, it, it basically sets the title page to zero, but now when we scroll down to the first page, oh, it's page number one. Isn't that cool? All right. All right. Now for one more ticket, a uh, little trip. Now, when it comes to doing citations for Chicago style, you have two different options. Um, and I'm going to show you um, kind of how that works. But first of all, we're going to close the header and footer. Now, we can either hit this button right here to close the header and footer and get back to the document, or I can just double left click down here. So I'm just going to double left click to get out of the header. Okay. Um, so I'm going to, so now I'm going to start writing my paper. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, hit the tab button. So I, in, I'm indenting the first line. So this is the first line of the uh, First paragraph. Yeah. And then you would just write your paper here. And we're just writing away. Okay. And then we'll put a period. And now um, I'm going to hit the enter button to get to the next thing. Now, when I'm going to start my next paragraph, make sure I hit the tab button again. Okay. And again, there's multiple ways to do this. This is just one way. And then I'm going to just say, I'm going to, I'm going to cheat here a little bit. I'm going to just copy this. <laughs> and I'm going to paste it there. This is the first line of the smarter, not harder. Okay. That's not plagiarism because I'm just doing this. Okay? And then you write more of this uh, wonderful uh, stuff that we're working on. Okay. But let's say now we have a quote. Okay. So this is bonus stuff. So here's the quote. I have a quotation mark here, um, and the quote is, this, okay? Now, when it comes to um, doing the um, citations, you can either do it with the date and the name of the author, which is very similar to APA style, and we're not going to go into a lot of detail. But if you're been, if you're being told that you want to use, that you're supposed to do footnotes, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks to do the footnotes. Again, this is just about formatting. Okay, so I'm going to finish that quotation. So if I want to put a footnote here, I've got a couple of different options to do that. Okay, so um, the, what I could do is I could go to references. Okay, right there, and then insert footnote. Boom, and you'll notice that what it does is that it adds a one right there. But it also adds a footnote down here where we could include that footnote information. Footnote info. Okay. So 
Now let me show you a, a, a kind of a cool shortcut. So again, I'm just going to copy this whole paragraph here, except for the footnote. I don't want your footnote. I love you, but I don't want you right now. I'm just doing this. Yeah, okay. Make sure that's indented. Okay, so let's say again, I want to put a footnote. So if you don't want to have to go to references and add a footnote, here's a, there's a shortcut. Are you kidding me? So it is alt Control f as in footnote. So Control alt hold down the Alt button, the Control button, and hit the letter F, and what happens? Boom! Look at that. It adds the footnote, and it puts it down there. And this is uh, footnote 2. Okay. So that is that. Okay, one bonus thing. Um, so remember how I showed you that what would happen? I'm just going to show you what happens if you didn't click this button in here. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight my paper here. I'm going to go back to paragraph settings, and I'm going to uncheck this box. You'll notice now there's an extra space between the paragraphs. Okay. And so if you if your teacher says, hey, look, you got extra spaces between your paragraphs, all you have to do to fix that is you just highlight the, the whole thing, go to paragraphs, and don't add space, boom, booyah, all done. All right, so there you go, folks. That is how you do the, the, the formatting with the Chicago style. Have fun. <laughs>